Well, hi there, pluckers. I've sore fingers again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for hopefully another interesting guitar lesson. This one is an oldie but goldie from Donovan called Universal Soldier. Originally written and performed by Buffy St. Marie, a Canadian uh, folk singer at that time, but uh, was uh, covered by Donovan. And this is uh, my lessons based on Donovan's version. Okay. So, uh, standard tuning, capo at the 4th fret, puts us in the same key that Donovan originally recorded this song in, okay? So, I'm going to go through the song for you now, and then I'll break it down and show you exactly how I played it. Hopefully you'll be good to go with it too. Singing as usual, definitely for reference only. So here we go. <laughs> He fights with missiles and mosquitoes. He's only 31, but he's only 17. Been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic and a Rolfist, a Jane, a Buddhist, a Baptist, a Jew. He knows he shouldn't kill. And he's fighting for France He's fighting for you with his lead He's fighting for the Russians And he's fighting for Japan And he thinks we'll put an end to all his way And he's fighting for democracy And he's fighting for the Reds He says it's for the peace of He's the one who gives his body as a weapon in another war. And without him, all this killing can go on. He's a universal soldier and he really is to blame. His orders come from far away. Right, let's get to it. All right, so the introduction starts off uh, on a rundown on a C chord. And the rundown is basically, you've got to hit, uh, hit the note and then the strum each time. That sort of thing, okay? So what we're starting off with is uh, a C chord and you play these fourth string, second fret on the fourth string and then strum, okay? Then take that second finger off, opens fourth string strum. Keeping these two fingers where they were, okay, so. Then play the third fret of the fifth string strum. So, so far. Then lower that fifth string to the second fret, keeping the first finger where it is, okay. So, so far. play an open A string, 5th string, and an A minor, then the 2nd fret of the 4th string, again strum, ok, so, so far, ok, and then finally we play the D chord, and we start off by playing the open 4th string, strum, then we play the open 5th string strum. Then we go back to the open 4th string and strum. Now, this is the little bit of a tricky bit. You put your thumb over the 2nd fret of the bottom E string. And this position on the, on the neck is not too difficult. Um, so you go, so we start again, we open 4th string strum, the D chord open 5th string, strum the D chord, back to the 4th string, strum, now we hit 
the bottom E string, 2nd fret, then the 5th string, then the 6th string again, then the 5th string, and finally the 4th string. Okay, so it's 4 strum, 5 strum, 4 strum, 6 strum, 5 strum, 6 strum, 5 strum, 4 strum, and then we're off into the song. Okay, so the whole intro, and you, <coughs> so let's play this again, here we go, slowly. Right, here we go. Okay, then we go into the song itself. Okay, and the song itself is—it's uh, very. Once you've got a verse under your belt, you've got the whole song basically because it just repeats verses. Okay, there's nothing else in the song. Okay, so we start off. The verse itself is—he's five foot two. It's C five foot D two, and is six V four. That's a run down from G down to the second fret on the second. Uh, bottom E string, so it's the old run down from G, 2nd fret, bottom E string, to E minor, open bottom E string. So from the beginning is 5, and each time you, every time you do a chord, basically hit the root note of the chord first. Or on C chord it would be 3rd on the 5th, open 4th for the D, G chord would be the opposite 3rd on the 6th, and then open E for the E minor. Okay. And then open A for an A minor if you have an A minor, that sort of thing. Okay, got the idea? Root note strum, okay? So C is 5 foot 2 and is 6 feet 4. Back to C, E fades with D, missiles and G. Five uh, spears. Repeat, it's 4 and 3 D and it's G root E minor. And then you play what you did. For the first part of the intro, he is a soldier for a thousand years. Okay, but you don't do the lots of different notes on the D, it's just a straightforward open fourth, maybe a fifth as well, and that's it. There's no bottom E string involved. After, after the intro, you don't do the thumb over at all. Okay, so that rundown is been a, so been, a lot of, uh, been a soldier for a thousand years, and then you're back into the next verse. So it's just fourth string, fifth string, fourth string. Don't go to the sixth string at all on the rest of the song, only the intro. Okay, so let's just go through the whole thing up to the end of that first verse because that's basically repeats the verses exactly the same. Okay, so let's do this again. So on the intro, it's five two and it's six. C to D, D to G to E minor, and then the rundown on the C. And a soldier for a thousand years. These are just the D strum, and then the A string strum, and then straight into the next verse. And it's repeating exactly the same chords. C, it's a Catholic, D, a Hindu, G, an Aethless, E minor, a Jane, C, a Buddhist, D, a Baptist and a G stay there. C D kill and E minor G to E minor run down on the C again. Kill me me for you. And then back into another verse. He's fighting for Canada. Okay, so you've got the whole thing there. Okay. So the actual intro is, the, is actually the last part of the verse, apart from the D is a lot simpler on the song rather than the intro. Okay, And the only other thing I can tell you is when you get to the, the very final verse, the way that Donovan plays it, 
He goes a universal soldier and he really is to play. He's a seawater county with a G. What he does then, he, spe he sort of speeds the rhythm up, okay? He goes from you and me. He goes into a fast, quite a fast strum, okay? So from the beginning of this verse, it's a universal soldier and he really is to play. And that's how it finishes, okay? So you basically go into a fairly fast rhythm on Nicker from U and G to E minor, brothers, can't you see? Just the same chords. And let me do the rundown again. Not the way to pull an interval. End of song, okay? So there you have it. The only thing I haven't shown you yet is there's a very, if you don't have to do it, but Donovan, it's a Donovan song, is when you go to the G um, on every verse, it's like when you go, um, it's you. Uh, sorry, uh, let's do it from the first verse. Let's do it first, first verse for you. It's five foot two and he's six feet four. He fights with missiles and his boots. That bit. He does that on every verse, okay, at that point in the verse. And all it is, is while you're playing the G, he just plays the fourth string, hammers into the second fret, and then plays the third string open. So it's and carrying then so so it's and then carries on strumming, okay? So I'll just do that very, very slowly for you. Slow the first right verse right down, okay? So it's five foot two and it's six feet four. He fights with missiles and his A soldier So let's just do the intro and a couple of verses just for good fun, okay? Here we go then. <laughs> he's five foot two and he's six feet four. He fights with missiles and with spears. He's all at thirty-one. He's only 17, been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a universal soldier and he really is to blame. His orders come from far away no more. Hey ho, thanks very much. I can't tell you any more about that one. So uh, hopefully that you'll be able to play that now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.